afternoon, uh, everyone. Thanks again that uh, Saint and Satya say no about. I know last day in Olympic in Olympic Games Sunday especially. Uh, thanks for to be here. First of all, uh, I'm very grateful and uh, I want to say a big thank you to the Indian Football Federation for uh, the confidence that they give me uh, to be national team coach. I think that is my fifth season in, in India. If you tell me five years ago, just when COVID started, that I will spend five years in India, maybe I would think that I was crazy. But uh, the reality is that uh, I told the same the other day. It's the, after Spain, obviously, or after my country, obviously, is the country that where I spend more, more years. And I feel that uh, from day one, sometimes I don't know why, but I feel that uh, the things uh, would work in a good way in, in India and obviously uh, was right that, that thought because uh, we are here. No? Uh, I don't want to forget to say thank you to FC Goa also, uh, obviously, uh, not only uh, uh, all Indian Football Federation, the president and everyone who is involved. Uh, but, uh, and especially to Rabbi Bushkur, the, the, the CEO, because they allow me to, to get one of my dreams. Because uh, I think that a long, long time ago, I, I was thinking maybe one day I, I would like to, to arrive to the, to the national team. And I'm here, then uh, it's only like this. Uh, I know that maybe one question will be about share the the job between FC Goa, maybe I can ask the questions and you reply me. But uh, I think that it's a good, it's a good uh, moment to, to be grateful with all the people who helped me uh, in this very uh, nice uh, trip all these years in, in India. In coaching national team of India or Spain? Better India. Spain is difficult. <laughs> uh, or I don't know, it's more difficult. Uh, but yes, it's true. I, I Practically, in a, more or less, I, I, you know that my English is not very good. I lack vocabulary still. Grammatically, I am a complete disaster. <laughs> then, uh, but I feel that from day one in my first training session in, in, in that moment in Hyderabad FC, uh, my connection with the Indian players was very, very nice. It's true that we spent two seasons in a bubble inside the hotel and then we spent a lot, a lot of time speaking. You can ask me where they are from, where are they from, the, how many people live in the, in the house of everyone, the traditions or the, or the different kind of culture in every state of my players. Uh, then I, because maybe sometimes I, I feel eh, that as a foreigner, it's not that India is coming to you, it's you are coming to India. No? And then you have to know that you have to adapt to all the, the things, even in football. Not, okay, I play like this and I have to play like this, that's all, no. You need to know how are the Indian players. Uh, in some moments you can do different things than, than in another, but in all the world is the same, eh? it's not the same to train in Spain than in Thailand, even in Spain it's not the training in Barcelona than in Madrid or every place uh, is different. Then, uh, yes, I'm very happy and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a dream to, to be national team coach in, in India for me. Uh, next question from there. Hello coach, congratulations. Thank My you. name is Shayam Mukherjee, I work for PV9 Network. I basically have two questions. One, you have pointed out the, what is your take on the conflict of interest that people are talking about, coaching a club team and a national team simultaneously. 
And secondly, this is the first time you, are, you will be coaching a national team. So when people say that coaching a club team and a national team are two different aspects. So how will you approach the two jobs? And if you can, if you can speak about that, your approach to the national team. Always there is a first time. Uh, no, it, about the first question, I think it, it's not the first time, it won't be the last with this uh, situation. Obviously it's true that now I check, because it's not common, this is true, but I check. Uh, no, in India, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not common in, in, in the world, but there are big names in, in uh, Goshiding or in Reynos Mitchell or in Herrera in Mexico or even one, two years ago was uh, Oscar Bruzon who was in Bangladesh no? with, with the Vashundara and the national team and as uh, Satya said now uh, in India I think there was four or five coaches more uh, for this uh, situation it's true that it's not very normal but uh, finally, there are two different uh, situ situations. They are not in the same moment. You play national team when there is a break in, in ISL, then you can share, obviously, the both both jobs. Finally, it's about professionalism, and you cannot, you you won't have any doubt about about it because uh, we will work very hard for for the national team and now we are speaking about national team next question uh, hello coach uh, my name is Deepa from press trust of india news agency pdi okay. so this is relating to the national team just i just wanted to check uh, the indian super league is starting uh, <coughs> sorry meet uh, next month and uh, this Intercontinental Cup starts at second. So, have you got the assurance that uh, you will get uh, all the uh, players from Indian Super League? No, this is a good question. Uh, I think that uh, I spoke in a chat. I, I say in a chat with a federation that the first, the first uh, FIFA window is a tricky situation because, uh, as you said, ISL starts later. Some, play, some teams are playing Durant Cup with the P team and other players are playing against the main teams are playing against weak teams. There are not competitive games. Obviously, we are in contact, we are in touch with uh, most of the clubs. We need to know uh, about the injuries about and, and it's not easy when, when uh, for example, in, in October will be easy because there will be maybe, I don't know how many games, but in ISL you can check which players are playing, with, who is injured, who, is, uh, who can play. It's true that the first is, is, uh, is more difficult, the first list is more difficult than, than the second, third, fourth. But obviously uh, we will call players and we will put 11 players for sure in the, in the first game. <coughs> Can we take a show of hands from that particular row for next question? Okay, this no? Yeah. Hi, Coach. Uh, this is Vivek from Hindustan Times. Uh, coach, this is a particularly challenging time, I guess, to take over after Ego Stemans' departure and also Sunil Chetri retiring. Uh, just on Chetri, do you, do you see that as your biggest challenge uh, in terms of filling the void left by Chetri? And uh, who are the players that you think can? Uh, have you identified any young forwards who can fill in and take up that role going forward? I feel that w w when there are changes, and I can give you one good example in, in Spain, uh, there are, when there are changes, not is only about the coach or the some players, no, or a legend like uh, Sunil in, in this case. It's true that in, in ISL all the teams are playing with foreign strikers and but it's true that some of them they are strikers and because of the reason that they are playing or every team is playing with foreign strikers, they are playing in the in the flank. But there are some players that they they, they are strikers. 
but let's they are center forward. But uh, obviously, let's see. And always there are when there are changes. Uh, I remember in, in the example that that I wanted to say to explain is in Spain in 2007, Luis Aragonés he removed Raúl González, Raúl from Real Madrid, a uh, legend, and was not not the same as Sunil because Sunil he announced that he will he uh, would leave the the team. Uh, in that moment, he received. 1,001 million people criticizing how it's possible because Raúl was still not old. And, uh, but finally he won 2008 Euro Cup and Spain won 2010 World Cup, 2012 Euro Cup again. Finally, is you have to achieve something to grow. And I, I always put example, maybe I'm wrong, eh? but maybe in the next years will be uh, kids, now kids, in, in, in the future, throwing javelin in India. Because Mira Chopra is getting uh, very good uh, results in this aspect. No? I think, I feel that uh, when you have a, when you are successful in one, in one uh, sport, usually in Spain, for example, is tennis. When Rafa Nadal appeared, Okay, we had good players, but suddenly every now we have maybe I don't know how many Spanish players in the top uh, 50 in the world. No? Then suddenly we, we need to uh, to achieve something to grow the the Indian football in this case. No? Next question, please. Uh, I'm Rotur from NDTV. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Indian national team job. You have a three-year contract with the team for now, with no FIFA World Cup qualification anymore. What is the goal that you're targeting in three years, which will, at the end of three years, you will say, okay, I'm happy with what I've done. What is that target? Yeah, the target is, uh, obviously, is true. World Cup is not there, as Asian Cup is there. If we speak about competitions, we can speak about all competitions. Uh, another competition, not not Asian Cup or World Cup, but uh, but finally the target is to improve the level of the Indian players in this case to arrive to the next step in terms of uh, individually and as a team. We need to to improve. Uh, I I don't like to speak about the ranking because I don't like too much to speak about the statistics because um, sometimes the statistics are, are not true. Uh, but finally, the the the, the real uh, target is to progress to be better in yeah, as soon as possible. Everyone knows that takes takes time, but in this case depend uh, about the attitude of everyone players federation staff coaches blah 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 uh, we need to go all of us in the same direction and, and then i am completely sure that that we will uh, get good results uh, coach if i may add a follow-up question to that you have uh, the september fifa window coming up in a little over 20 days and a total of three windows before the Asian Cup qualifiers next uh, next year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are your thoughts? How are you planning to prepare? We have uh, we will have six seven games before uh, the first game in, in March, <coughs> and finally we will see. I, I repeat again, the first is let's see what happened with the first uh, FIFA window in, before ISL starts. But finally, it's about to prepare. Finally, it's, it's the same that in a team. Eh? It's uh, to find the, the correct people to grow as a team. I, I can explain, I speak too much. I can explain one example. When I was in the in one team, I won't, say, I won't tell the, the name because some players, maybe they, they will think, okay, he, this old guy is speaking about me. Uh, in precision, we have four centre backs, 
and the two first center backs, one of them was in, in the B team, was two former seasons training with the main team, and the other, everyone say this guy is great future. But this guy play individually and this guy play individually. And the third and the fourth, they are now still in La Liga for more than seven, eight years. Means that finally is to find the correct way to play as a teammate. Don't play only for yourself uh, because this is a collective sport. Then uh, you need to find the, the your team. It's not about, okay, this player is good, okay, this player is good, but if he play only for himself, I think it's, it's not the best uh, in a national team or in a team or in a national team. Then we need to find the correct players and this sometimes takes time or sometimes you can find this, this group of players uh, faster. We'll take a show of hands. Yes, you want, yeah, yeah, please. Uh, one more about uh, following on from replacing Sunil Chetri. Uh, so obviously we, you said that there are not many clubs, in fact no clubs who play at Indian number 9. Starting because you are already a, the, the manager of a club, will you take more initiative to develop uh, an, an Indian number 9? Uh, in the future, will you encourage other clubs in India to develop a number nine? Because we have wingers, midfielders, centre backs, full backs. We don't have that number nine. That's a very crucial position. Will you take a, an initiative of your own to develop one with Goa? Let's see. In some, we, we, uh, we signed a good striker this year, very young striker in FC Goa, and I think that can be a good player. But obviously, he's 18 years old. We cannot speak now that this guy will be, uh, but uh, obviously I understand because I understand the situation in, in the national team and I understand the situation in in in, in ISL club. No? But uh, I repeat again that for sure that we will play with a uh, with one or one or, or sometimes with two strikers in the in the national team. Uh, next question on that side. Uh, good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tanush from Voice of Indian Sports. So I want to inquire what a blueprint of your success. You have matched FC Goa and Hyderabad. So we want, I want to inquire about your training program. Like, is it based on the skill level or is it based on the tactical level? Sorry, sorry. So I, I, I want to inquire about your part, I, I understood only the question. Okay, so I want to inquire, inquire about yours. Your training programs is it based on the skill level or the tactical side during the training session. It's, it's, it's all, it's, it's everything. I think uh, you have to find the, the correct players, means not only 11 players. You, you have to find all the group. You have to find uh, everyone needs to know which is the role in the team. Uh, and repeat again. Go all, all everyone together to the, in the same in the same direction. This is not about. It's a collective sport. It's not about. Finally, football is for is the players are the main protagonists, but not only the eleven players. We need a, a group of 20-25 players or more, or let's see, or depend in this case. In the national team, as a in the national team, as a in them, there are some players that now maybe even we don't know uh, what will happen, and maybe in some months they are performing very very good. Obviously, these players uh, can go, but if you allow me, uh, I, I I will I can repeat again the same example. No, I know he asked me if I prefer Spain or India. Uh, it's not about if I prefer this or this, it's to check the example. Uh, Spain now won the Euro Cup with the same coach and with the 70% of the players that they were champions with under 19 and under 21. And now they are champions with the, with the main team. There is one thing in, in football that people uh, are not aware of, and it's the continuity. 
the continuity is very very important if you are changing the players every day uh, it's very difficult because finally you have to know the players but the players have to know your idea if you are changing constantly um, uh, it's a problem yeah. but again we need to find the correct group to to play in the style that we want next question uh, hello coach i'm shiva manai right for network 18 uh, since you are in a dual role i wanted to know how are you going to manage your workload like uh, not the players but your because since you'll be managing let's see go and an indian football team as well in, in the beginning very stressful but only because <laughs> don't love please because it's a uh, for example, the assistant coaches in FC Goa, they didn't get the visa. I arrived the first year, all the work is for me in this moment. For In FC Goa, fortunately for me, I have Kuramangi with me. Uh, now they arrive. I think that step by step, because still I didn't, I, I was not in the national team. We didn't, we didn't play one single game, but for sure in the next weeks, uh, will be easier to, to manage. But it's true that these first uh, 10 days, one week, uh, two weeks, the, 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 the work is uh, a lot, but it's my passion. Then I know that this won't be the problem. I know uh, if FC Goa is working a national team, no, uh, people will say, I know, I am 35 years in or oh, 40. Uh, yes, in, in football. I know that we will oh, it's focus only in FC Bar. It's, it's, it's the opposite, okay? It's focus only in the national team and... No. You can work, and I, I know that we will work in, in a, with a very professional way, but you cannot say nothing about the results. Uh, then, But we know that the, the work in the club and the national team uh, will be there. This is... No doubt, 100%. Next question. Okay. Hi, coach. This is Anwar from EVP Network. Okay. As we're already talking about uh, managing a club team and a national team together, will that be a harder in terms of scouting talent from the other leagues, watching other leagues, and plus working on the ground to scout talents? Because we already talk about much patting to the young talents from the ground talents from the ground roots of Indian uh, structure of football. No, because it is not only my. Job. No, there are professional people working in national team, professional people working in in the clubs. It's not only about if uh, it's not all all work is, is for me. No, I think that you can find uh, talents in in a lot of different places. Uh, but finally, my opinion eh, is that. Uh, the best players have to play in the best level. This is the because finally the very good players play if uh, they show their level in front of a strong opposition. It's easier to play against. Uh, okay, if I play with a worst player, I have more possibilities to play a. Uh, better that if I play against a, a strong opposition, then this is the reason. No, uh, I repeat, would be good for Indian players to, to play abroad because uh, they will find a strong opposition and the improvement would be uh, faster. Next question. Hi, coach. Aditya this side from Kail now. Uh, coach, there are many players who did not get um, uh, chances against the uh, under Ego's team act. So, will those players be considered for selection? For example, Ashish Rai, who played a major role in your camp uh, at Hyderabad FC done. So, will he considered or uh, many players who did not get many chances? Yeah, how many people are here? 50, 40? If you are here, I tell you, no one say the same lineup. Not not only the same lineup. Forty people, forty different lineups for sure. It's impossible when you are a coach. Uh, if you win, example of 
Raúl with Luis Aragonés. Nobody will remember uh, which play you miss in the last uh, game. Then let's see. Let's see. Asir Ray, yeah. Asir Ray played very good with me in Hyderabad. Two seasons he was champion. <laughs> Now he was champion in Hyderabad and two and twice consecutive more in 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 Mohumbagan. Yeah, but is a right back that he has possibilities, but there are a lot of right backs with with possibilities in the with good level and they can play in the in the national team. Uh, finally, is similar. I, I I will tell you similar than than before. No, this is a chain that take, takes time. Yes, uh, sometimes we want to play with very young players immediately. And this play, I have experience. I, I train B teams in Spain. That now, sorry, because now seems arrogant, but a lot of these players are playing. It's not not for me, obviously. They are playing in, in top leagues, not only in in Spain. And uh, this takes time. One player is mature at 17, and one player is not mature till he's 24, 25. Then we need to find the, the the correct moment to call this player. And about the other question, for me one target more than for me for the Indian football is that in the future the national team coach has to be an Indian person. Because even that I love Indian, I can speak very good about India, but for sure the Indian person Indian coach will know better how the the country works, how is how is the how are the people in every part of the of India, and this has to be a or, or this has a, a target for in the in the next years. No? And, but uh, finally, now we are speaking about uh, about this and. Uh, In your last your question, we need to develop not only the main thing. We need to develop uh, and develop is doesn't mean uh, get good results immediately. Finally, remember that the B teams okay is very very nice to win the under 17, under 19, uh, but finally these teams the main target is to send. Good players for the to provide some players from the for the national team. This is the the moment that the the, the real work. No? It's not about I have to win. I have to win. Oh, I I won when I was under 13. I won this. I won that. No. Finally, these players that you have, when, in, every moment is different. Every moment has different things in the life. Then you need to know how to manage every situation. And then when the player is in the top level, in this case in India, then you can consider that uh, finally uh, we did a, a good job with, 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 with him. Okay, I have a question. Okay, please go ahead. Um, Coach, earlier we have seen I-League players being sidelined for the national team selection up until recently. And what's your take on this? Yeah, it's the case, no? Edmund, no? for example, we can speak about Edmund because Edmund was in the last... I know more players were there, but only Edmund uh, played as a high league player in the last uh, games, no? If they have the level, obviously, we will call them. But, again, it would be better if these players play against the stronger opposition than... Uh, Always uh, will be cases that players in second division, even Bielsa called one player in Uruguay in fourth division, but he was in the national team and he didn't play one single minute because his level was not good enough. And finally, again, we need to to play in front of a strong opposition and always there are cases in, in, in I-League and maybe because ISL there are only 12 now, let's say 13, But till now was in, in the beginning eight, then ten, eleven, twelve, still not 
too many teams, no? Uh, but uh, yeah, obviously, I League players has, has uh, have possibilities, but the normal thing is more possibilities will be in in ISL. I think that is is normal. Everyone can understand this this situation. So. Coach of FC Goa, you've been with, right about team owners would want you to play a certain way. The fans would want you to play a certain way. Now you are also with AIFF now. Them wanting you to play a certain way. As a coach, how do you find a balance in the way you set up a team? Because there are a lot of noises. I would want you to play like your Jurgen Klopp, your Guardiola, or whatever. As a coach, how do you find this balance to set up a team? I think this is part of the salary of the coaches, eh? because everyone. Uh, in, in football, I think more, more things in the life, eh? but in football, you can have one opinion, I can have another one, and, and both can be right. But our opinion has to be before the game. After the game, it's very easy. If you won the game, you are right. Yeah, and okay, finally, it's about to be brave. You know? It's about, uh, okay, now with the social media, everyone can write what he wants. And okay, if you are focused in this, maybe better uh, because I received, I don't know how many messages, not now. One day I was crazy and I say that in India there is not only space for cricket and I received maybe 1,000 private messages from uh, cricket fans about, okay, you don't know where you are, blah, blah, blah. Of course I know where I am, but uh, there are different opinions, okay? I can tell you, I respect that you like cricket, but I can tell you why I prefer football than cricket. But finally, it's about uh, uh, replying your your uh, your question, is to, to try to do what you think. If you are thinking, oh, the, this guy, if I don't call him, will be angry, or the press will write against me if I don't call this player, then maybe better go home and, and that's all. We need to work in a professional way and then let's see. I am very optimistic. I, I think that we will improve. Uh, I think that we will arrive to the next step uh, and that's all. Takes time, yes, but I don't like uh, excuses, uh, guilt is uh, is about search always solutions and, and go forward. Uh, hello, coach Shivam again. Uh, so my question is like back when Ego Steamaj took over the, the head coach, he started with the comment that India are sleeping giants of football. He was an outsider then, but you have spent five years in the Indian football ecosystem. So can you talk us through your observation on Indian football? I don't want to speak with about the... First of all, I have very good relationship with Igor uh, because my feeling is that the, all the, the coaches in ISL, one of the targets is to help. And I'm not telling this because now I am the national team coach. Has to help the national team. And I think that our good relationship is because from Hyderabad and from FC Goa, we always try to help the, the, the national team. In terms of, of opinion or feelings, or everyone has different uh, feelings or opinion. I can speak about my opinion. My opinion is that in five years, uh, the level, now we speak about Indian players, not foreigners. The level of Indian players is better but can be bet can be better and can improve faster. My feeling, I know that maybe I think that everyone knows, but maybe some Indian players they don't like. But my feeling is that they are very comfortable playing in ISL. But I tell this to my players, and it's not that te I'm telling this because I am national team coach now. They are very comfortable in India and you will grow when you play uh, abroad. I'm not speaking in the top level in Europe, in the Premier League or in La Liga, but if you go abroad and you play uh, in one division where 
the opponents are in the same or better level than you, you will improve 100% then. But I understand that uh, the life is very good for most of them here in, in, in ISL and they are very comfortable and it's difficult that they try to go abroad like, for example, Sandesh uh, tried to do in, or did it in, in Croatia. No? Next question, please. Uh, sir, Shine from Madhubhumi. Sir, you have been in India for quite some time. So, all these years, uh, you must have watched, closely watched the Indian players. So, by coaching Indian players, uh, what would be your immediate priority, whether to improve the uh, stamina or to the technical skill uh, as far as Indian players are concerned? It's true that I, I know some of that, but I need to, to, to know deeply, it's correct. Uh, another Indian players that I don't know them personally. No. Then, first of all, we know. Of course, obviously, we will call good players, but they are person, they are people, they are persons. And, and, and we need to... My feeling, not in India, eh? my feeling in a lot of countries that we are losing this spirit to play for your nation than for your country. Uh, I think that we need to recover this in, in this case. You have to be angry, disappointed, everything when you lose one game. And uh, I think that this is the first step. Go all same direction, uh, play as a team, uh, show playing with your qualities, but show that you want to play. Uh, you know, though I have a knock, if I don't go to the national team, better. No, this this can, this is not like this. No, I, I think that you, you need to go again to the next step. And, and, and I feel that uh, we, we will arrive to, the, to, to, to this point uh, fast. Yes. We will take the last two questions. Which, what are your primary targets as national team coach and uh, also what is your expectation from AIFF? My expectations? No, no. Uh, my target in a club, in, not in a club, in a club, in a national team, in, in every situation, your target is to win the next game. But in this situation that we are facing friendly games, we have more time to, to prepare the real important games, but don't forget that we need to be in the pot one uh, when the, in December when the draw for the last six slots for Asian Cup. Uh, but obviously uh, the target has to be to find the club and to recover this aspect that I, I spoke just now uh, and, and that's all about the Indian Football Federation. I don't have to expect nothing. No? They, they show me the, uh, the confidence that they have in, in my person or, or in our staff. Uh, all is to, first of all, to say thank you and then I think that we need to work together but same than all, all, all federation in, in the world. I take the last question. Yeah. Coach, just to add to the earlier questions, if you could just maybe outline one area where you feel Indian players are lacking most, what would it be? Where I can find the... If you could just maybe outline one, one department or one area where you feel Indian players are lacking the most, in your yeah, opinion. Yeah. They are improving, but maybe, maybe the place that where that I coach, maybe if they listen this answer, they will love. But is the I, I I tell them if I have to to write a book when I leave India, the title is is, is in football Indian football is the Indian mentality. It's a, we need to improve in in this aspect. We need to know that we can because they show that there are that the, 
we have to be stronger uh, mentally. In football, technica, technique is very important. Fo uh, tactic is very important. Uh, physic physic uh, condition is very important. But if this doesn't work, you can do nothing in, in, in your life, eh? not only in football. Uh, if, if the head doesn't work, then we need to be convinced that one example that if you start one game and you are losing 2-0 in, in the minute uh, 20, you have 70 minutes to turn the score. And this is possible. And this is mentality. And obviously, if you have a great mentality but never play football in your life, uh, this is not possible. But, but uh, in the national team, theoretically, will be uh, will play the, the best players in the in the country. Then, if the mentality is correct. For exclusive and insightful videos, subscribe to our new channel, ABP Live Premium.